Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you how to crochet the shell scales stitch pattern, which looks nice for a scarf and blanket as well as most anything else. For my sample, I'm using worsted weight yarn and an H hook. The pink yarn outlines the shells and the yellow yarn forms the shells. To begin, chain 35 or any multiple of 8 plus 3. Single crochet in the third chain from the hook. Even on single crochet rows, we're going to start with chain 2's instead of chain 1's. Then single crochet in the next 7 chains. 1, 2, and 7. In the next chain, make a single crochet. Chain 1, and single crochet. Then repeat. Single crochet in the next 7 chains. 1, 2, and 7. And as before, in the next chain, make a single crochet. Chain 1, and single crochet. Continue repeating the 7 single crochet followed by the single crochet chain 1 single crochet pattern. In the last chain, just make 2 single crochet stitches. We won't do the chain 1 in between on this last chain. I'm going to change colors at this time, dropping the pink yarn and adding the yellow yarn. For row 2, chain 2 and turn your work. Skip 4 stitches. In the next stitch, we're going to make 7 treble crochet stitches. 1, 2, and 7. Then skip the next 4 single crochet stitches. And in the chain 1 we made before, make a single crochet. And there's our first large shell stitch with a single crochet in between. Then we skip 4 stitches again. And in the next stitch, make 7 treble crochet stitches again. 1 and 7. Then skip 4 stitches again. We'll single crochet in the chain 1 space again. And you'll repeat this pattern across the row. Instead of the chain 1 space, we'll just single crochet in the last single crochet at the end. Once completed, we'll lift our hook out of the yellow yarn. Then go back to the beginning of this row to find the pink yarn again. So we'll slip stitch the pink yarn into the top of the original chain 2 from the yellow row. And we'll go in the same direction as the yellow row. For row 3, we'll chain 2. Single crochet in the next 3 stitches. Then at the top, we'll do our single crochet, chain 1 and single crochet. Then single crochet in the next 3 stitches. And we're going to put a single crochet here, but we'll make it 2 rows below. Then we proceed with the 3 single crochet stitches again. And then in the next stitch, we do the single crochet, chain 1, and single crochet pattern. And then finish downwards with the 3 single crochet stitches. Followed by the single crochet, but made 2 rows below. And we'll continue with this pattern across the row. At the end, that 2 row below single crochet can be a bit tricky, so feel free to put the single crochet in the normal top part of the stitch if you wish.
For row 4, switch over to the yellow yarn again, and we'll chain 4, then turn our work. Make 3 more treble crochet stitches in the same space. 1, 2, and 3. With this one, we can just look carefully where to put the stitches, as opposed to counting them. So put the single crochet in the top of the chain 1 from the previous row. Then we put our 7 treble crochet stitches all in that single crochet from 2 rows below. Next we put the single crochet in the top of the chain 1. Then put the 7 treble crochet stitches in the single crochet, followed by a single crochet in the chain 1 space. And you'll continue this pattern across the row. The end of this row is a bit different. After the single crochet in the chain 1 space, you'll make 4 treble crochet stitches all in that last stitch. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And here's what it looks like. For row 5, we'll drop the yellow yarn, then go back to the beginning and slip stitch with the pink yarn. And then chain 2. Then we'll single crochet over the next 3 stitches. 1, 2, and 3. We do our single crochet 2 rows below. Then we go up the shell with 3 single crochet stitches. Then we do our single crochet, chain 1, and single crochet at the top. Then back down the shell with the 3 single crochet stitches. Followed by the single crochet 2 rows below. You'll continue with this pattern across the row. When we get to the end, you'll make your last 3 single crochet stitches. Then make one more single crochet at the end and change over to the yellow yarn with it. You can see what it looks like thus far. From now on, we'll just repeat rows 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then I continue repeating the 2, 3, 4, and 5 rows. That's how I crochet the Shell Scales stitch pattern. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.